surf's up, dude. Yeah. Surfing's been happening for a long time in South Africa. You remember the, the Gunston 500? That used to happen in 1969. In 2000, it changed to Mr. Price Pro. Uh, and then in 2009, it changed even to another new name. And it's still using that name. Mr. Price Pro Balito, when it's happening. In Balito, KZN, the warm waters of the KZN. We're gonna go check that out because it used to be known as a recreational sport. Now it's a highly qualified sport. Surf's up, dude. The beautiful Guatuguza coastline in KZN is home to the Mr. Price Pro in Balito. Isimulut Ibiriwa Kanstan 500 Ka 1969. It is now the world's oldest surfing event and is an integral part of the ASP World Tour. 96 of the world's top surfers from 19 countries around the globe feature in this truly international surfing event. Ka 2009, Mr. Price ile ya kopana ka perikisano le kwa municipality and since then the event has grown from strength to strength to become Africa's biggest beach festival, a true success story for the sport of surfing. Another local success story is Kwatukuza lifeguard Bongani Klu, where there's a will, there's a way, and Bongani udira jagapuo eu ibuwa. Despite having lost his leg in a tragic car accident in 2003, Bongani has persevered and became the first African ASP judge and wave riding spotter on the international surfing circuit. Well, it all started, um, I had a car accident in 2003, um, obviously recovered from all of that and obviously because I was into surfing, I didn't want to leave the sport. So to stay within the sport, I started judging small contests from developments. You do a course with ASP to get into the ASP, but it all starts from a development, judging the small, small, small contest in developing, which is really hard to judge. So obviously from there you get picked, you know, from your judging and experience. Then you go to your um, provincial level and there you stay a long time, um, trying to improve yourself from all the head judges and then you go into your national doing your SA champs. The bonus is to get into the international level. It's not all about teaching you because you're already a surfer, you know what's easy and what's hard to do on waves. The thing that they teach you mostly is trying to be consistent on memory and recalling waves, you know, trying to keep that consistency and playing the criteria in your head all the time for each and every ride that you watch. So you watch the ride and you put it into a category where they poor, fair, average, good, excellent. In each category we've got a marking scale. First you look at the ride and you categorize it and then you put it within that scale. Myself, in the world circuit, it's quite hard. It's not easy, so it's all about um, just improving all the time, just improving, doing it, just taking one event at a time and enjoying it most of all. It's not just about the ASP ratings points and the money here at the Mr. Price Pro Bolita. Uh, we have the Red Cap Foundation, which carries out the corporate social investment projects in the Kwadakuza region for, for the Mr. Price Group. And we had Greg Emsley, a champion surfer, a former national champion, and a former competitor on the ASP World Tour, surfing for the Red Cap here at Mr. Price. He was actually creating awareness for the projects that he actually went to himself. He went out to some of the schools in the Kwadakuza region, where he got to see the Red Cap schools projects in action, along with the young heroes as well is a non-profit and public benefit organization A Lenya Simululwa Ka 2006 who did a corporate social investment initiatives for the Mr. Price Group. The foundation strives to make a positive difference in the lives of young South Africans with its focus on upliftment, especially of those less privileged, through education throughout South Africa and the Guatuguza region. So there was always some social investment activity going on, but more from a charitable kind of um, approach. 
So the business decided that they wanted to start a separate entity called the Red Cap Foundation, really to respond to social issues in the country. And so we felt that children was really the focus that the Red Cap Foundation should have. The work that we do is really to inspire tomorrow's heroes, to help kids believe in themselves and to also inspire them to, to be the best that they can be. Obviously with the focus of children and then education within that. Um, and we do that through sports and many other things, working in schools and really just helping them to release their potential and find the talent that they have. So we've got Greg Emsley as an ambassador for the Redcap Foundation and one of the things that we do with, with our schools is to promote physical education as well. And he went out and, and played around with the kids on the ground. Um, and I think he's a fantastic ambassador for the foundation, not only because um, he's a role model for kids, particularly that the, the element of inspiring tomorrow's heroes. That is a role model for, for the kids that we have in our schools and any other children. Really is a fantastic link for us. There's a sign up ahead with a number to call And Sonny sees all around It's just good to be able to put back and give the underprivileged kids an opportunity to, to see what sport's about and uh, really get them out in the field. And having kids on my own, you sort of see how important things like sport are for kids. Uh, you know, kids have a lot of energy and uh, they, they need to sort of get out there and play sport and, and we, we're giving the, the kids this opportunity so that it just you know, broadens the, you know, the horizons for the kids. They can look up to more people and, and see the different sports that are out there for them. And, uh, you know, who, who knows how many heroes are out there. During the uh, Mr. Price Pro Belito, we uh, interacted with the kids. We had a soccer day for them. And uh, we all got involved and we had an absolute ball. Some of the work we're doing in school is to promote arts and culture and drama in the school, so we're really trying to link that with what we're doing here. We're involved with all 16 high schools in Quadacruz as well, where we um, structured a high school soccer league. Actually, that league is happening at the moment. We're in the middle of it now. So for these kids to be able to just come and show their talent and just also play and just have some fun in the holiday um, is a great opportunity for us to, to bring the kids here and, and link it again with the pro. Top SA surfer Greg Emsley failed to make it through to the final round and this only left two South Africans, Galati Labufello, La Competition, Travis Logie and 2010 winner Jody Smith. The final day of competition opened to clean walls and offshore winds and Belita shone in all its glory. The world number four surfer Adriano de Souza had not put a foot wrong all week and stormed into the semi finals along with Nathaniel Kuran from USA and Glenn Hall from Ireland and Nat Young from the USA. In the final, Nathaniel Kuran took on Glenn Hall. After Kuron held the lead for an entire final, it came down to the last wave in the last 20 seconds. Hall, needing a six to take the lead, finds a beautiful face to work with. He slams home his advantage, scoring a 6.9. Glenn serves into history by taking the Mr. Prize Pro Balito with only seconds left on the clock. Congratulations to Glenn Hall, Wakwa Island. Kahonda Mufi, you are 2012 Mr. Prize Pro. Well, that's how you win the Mr. Prize Pro, Belito. On the board, in between the waves, and in between the sharks. Looks dangerous. I could do it. Maybe. Maybe just send us your comments about the show. Right to Mela to receive your comments about the show. S Sports with you on Twitter, Facebook.com forward slash sports you. Look at email sports you at razorworks.co.za. See you again very soon. Uh, support the boys and girls out in London for the Olympics. Make it nice and dandy. Green every Friday. It's a national thing. <laughs>